Star Report. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Star. Okay, folks, pardon my late start. I had a wonderful day down here in Emerald Isle, North Carolina, and a mammy almost killed me with kindness. <laughs> so I'm a little off balance, but uh, I am here to uh, put two topics on the table nonetheless, okay? Um, Deeds is running late, so I'm not sure how the audio sounds. You guys let me know and the spelling, so on and so forth, okay? Two topics. The little rascals are in custody, and I'm sure by now they have been released. These are three minors in Houston, Texas, okay, ages 11, 12, and 16. There's not too much information, but um, the FBI got involved. Supposedly, they robbed a bank during spring break and got away with it. It's not funny. I'm, I'm, I'm not laughing. But uh, and, and even though there's not a lot of information here with regards to this story, I do have a question I want to put on the table for you parents nationwide. Are migrants influencing your children? Let me say that again. Are migrants influencing your children? They're coming here for, you know, for, for the come up, you know? Streets paved with gold, opportunity. Everything's free. Oh, I got to get to America, right? Many of you, um, black, white, Hispanic, what have you. Oh, you love the movie Scarface. Yo, that was my nigga, right? Now you have thousands, perhaps millions of little scar faces running amok and they about that action if anyone has seen the picture and i'm sure uh some of you have of these three little um um minors you know the oldest 16 you will see that one of them looks like some type of you know <laughs> transplant from venezuela and the other two uh what are you foundational black american ados i don't know but uh wow wow so look to the parents let me just say that early to the parents who got involved and turned them in, okay? That, that's great. That's great. But now, now, on a larger scale, again, my question, are the migrants influencing your children? Up in New York, this city has gone to hell. Let, let's just call it what it is. Huh? They're riding around on scooters. They're popping people's tops. They're beating up the police. They're being released out of jail, and they're smiling. No fucks given, okay? So I'm not surprised. Um, I think we may have to, I don't know, some type of, <laughs> um, um, I don't know, some type of approach to deal with uh, minors and, and maybe lowering some of the, 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 age, the ages where you cannot just prosecute the minors but their parents. Join the conversation if you will, okay? Also, guys, showrunner Beanie Siegel talks prison reality. I'm not saying the R word, or R-A-P-E, but in my community section is a video. Now, this is a throwback from, I think, seven, six or seven years ago. Beanie Siegel was my nigga for real, for real. He and I chopped it up in 2010 in Philly. We went viral. But what he's saying is a little concerning. What he's saying is a little concerning. If you did not see the video yet, you may or may not have seen this throwback interview where he says the niggas that he went to the penitentiary with, legendary, will knock you out and suck your dick. There's no other way to say it. The niggas that he knew and went to the penitentiary with will knock you out and, the, and then suck your dick. Now, <laughs> All you niggas love to talk that jail talk, don't you? Any any jailbird niggas in the live chat right now? Call in. What have you seen? What do you know? Huh? <laughs> I know you want to admit to shit, but let's let's be a little silly tonight, okay? Also, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put something on the um on the screen or not, but uh Dana, where are you? Dana, I went to TMZ, Dana with the data. D Dana is down with the uh, the beehive. Um, I sent her a Beyonce. Uh, platinum plaque that someone sent me because I had an extra. And Dan Dana's got uh, the cowboy hat getting ready for the new Beyonce release. I think it's nine days or something like that. Dana, I went to TMZ. Let me just say early, Beyonce stole Erica Badu's look and her style. I'm sorry. I've never been a person to, 
to feed into that. Pro babies, anybody up to speed? Anybody up to speed? TMZ.com has a picture of a, a, a Beyonce, Erica Badu. First, she jacked the whole beads uh, thing that Erica Badu has become known for. And then the hat where Erica Badu was like, you know, she's standing on stage. Talk about a ripoff. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, she's rolling with Jay-Z, even though Jay-Z's not a Harlem nigga. He, he's a New York nigga. That's how Harlem niggas have, have moved for, for years, decades, if you will. You can wear something, right? They'll then wear it, and then they'll say, yeah, you know, you, you only know how to, how to rock it. So I'm, 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 I'm you know, I'm a, I'm a show niggas, or, or I'm, I'm really going to do it the way it should be done. Phone lines open right now, okay? All right, uh, that's my show this evening, and we'll talk about some other things as well. Uh, but again, pardon me for the lateness. I've, I've been down here since I moved down here this past Saturday, and I've been, uh, what is that thing? Uh, uh, Lil Duvall says, living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you niggas. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hold on a second. Um, Beyonce, I may want to put that on the screen as well. Okay, okay. If anybody has seen the um, uh, 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 the Beanie Siegel, uh, well, it's just a little snippet in my community section. I borrowed it from another, uh, uh, you know, YouTube channel, and I will give them all the credit. But to, come on, call in, huh? Beanie's a Philly nigga, aka the Broad Street bully. Philly niggas don't lie about shit like that. You know, New York niggas do a whole lot of snitching, capping, lining each other up. But you know, Philly, I believe Beanie. I believe him. Now, whether he himself has knocked anybody out and sucked their dick, I don't know. <laughs> I, we're going to be a little raw tonight, so don't worry about uh, the algorithms and that sort of thing. Uh oh, wait a minute. Whoa, early. Dana, are you camming up? You you just want to call in and defend Beyonce? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I didn't realize. I, I forgot you just came on five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm not camera ready tonight. But um, oh, come on, D D Dana, I, Dana, get get on camera with the bonnet. Come on, these niggas is feeling no, you. No, no, sir. Okay. What's, what's cracking? What's shaking? No. Let's go. What's going on? And I heard you tried to take a little dig at Beyonce. So let me just set the record straight with Erica Badu. Um, Beyonce did not steal anything from Erica Badu. For anything, they stole that hairstyle from Stevie Wonder from back in the seventies. Um, Patrice Russian, um, Donna Summer. So that hairstyle came out of the 70s, 80s. So I don't know why Erica Badu thinks that she, you know, when she comes out with something, she puts the stamp on it and she owns that look. When she copied it from someone before her. So Beyonce didn't do anything. She's just hating. She just wants to want to go viral, want people to talk about her because Beyonce is popping. Leave her alone. Hey, you said Beyonce's hating or Erica Badu is hating. I think you. No, Erica Badu is hating on Beyonce, but but a lot of times people come out with something negative so that they name could be out in the blog so that they could get a get the attention. So Beyonce is popping right now, you know, and now you have Erica trying to say she stole my look. No, she did not. Um, Azealia, you know, she she always tried. Hang on a second before you get to Azealia Banks, Dana. I I never say yo somebody stole some. I, I, I'm flattered when people borrow from me. I'm flattered. I I know I've been very influential uh, over the decades, uh, second only to Frankie Crocker. But now here's the thing. Here's the thing. It, it's it looks just like an Erica Badu photo um um session. And and the whole thing with the hat as well. Come on, Danny, you're you're in denial. You're in denial right now. I'm not in. Erica Badu is in denial. How can you say somebody stole something from you when you stole it from somebody else? Erica Badu was not the first person to wear that kind of hat. Was not the first person to even have that hairstyle. So what what is she talking about? Stevie Wonder was the first person I saw with the B, with the brain. That that's a guy. Hey. That, that's a guy. We're talking females. I know Patrice Russian. She had it. Donna Summer. I think one of the Pointer sisters. 
So da- damn, Danny, you Danny, you're showing your age. You're taking it back. You're taking it back. Because that's where the hairstyle came. Well, I was born in '76, but it came out of the '70s slash '80s. Okay. So I'm just like, no, Miss Dane. Nobody didn't steal anything from you because you copied. Okay. okay. She copied. Okay. Erica. Well, listen, I don't want to make that my whole show right now. Um, I appreciate you calling in. No, I just had to come clear the I, air. I, I, know, as you know. I, I know, I know. But, but listen, uh, <laughs> the, the, the little rascals coming out of Houston, um, are you at the speed on this? Um, th- their parents turned them in 11 years old, 12 years old, and 16, uh, robbing a bank, uh, Wells Fargo, uh, around spring break, and they got away. <laughs> well... <laughs> They got away with money, and you know. So I'm like, I'm wondering if the parents turned them in. Turned them in? Did they, you know, turn them in with the money? At the same time, I think the parents need to be locked up because what kind of parenting are you doing that your child will result to, you know, criminal activity? So the parents need to be in handcuffs along with the the juvenile. But I have not seen that story. Okay, okay. When and if you find t- time. One of those uh, little uh, little rascals looks like some type of uh, Venezuela border jumper. So my question is, are the migrants influencing, um, you know, uh, African-American or, or what have you, Caucasians, other Hispanics? You, you, you focus on the migrants on your platform, The Real Dan on YouTube. So you're very up to speed. You're in the loop on what's going on in Chicago, New York and, and other um, um, sanctuary cities. Yes. Yes, I focus on the illegals, not the migrants, illegals. And <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they were probably illegals, did not have their proper paperwork. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm wondering, did they give the middle finger to the judge or the cameras like mm. the other one in New York did? So, you know, again, deport them if they don't have their papers. You need to arrest them and the parents. So, yeah, they are illegals. They're not migrants. Well, so I know they're illegals, but the media refers to them as migrants. I'm just, you know, just spitting it out there. But right. OK, so um, again, are they influencing others? Because the, the migrant appears to be the oldest one. The other one is looks so so goddamn tiny. Looks like he just learned to wipe his ass uh, last year. And the other <laughs> the other one looks like he's just following behind uh, the migrant. Are, are, are they influencing um, others? <laughs> I think they are influencing, but at the same time, I think they're the main ones that are doing the crime. So it's not like they're saying, hey, Bingo. it was. Yeah, I'm- there are just so many of them, and they're the ones who, you know, are doing the crime. They are the criminals. <laughs> so yeah. they're surpassing, they're, su- they're surpassing, you know, the, the quote-unquote ghetto black or white people or whatever. No, they are the new criminals. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, I, I know it's late and you have other things to do. I appreciate you for tapping in. Um, keep me in the loop on what's going on because uh, uh, Erica Badu, she started this on social media, on Instagram, and, and then the beehive started getting at her so strong, I guess, reporting her page. She then took took it to uh, to Twitter, and then she reached out to Jay-Z and said, you going to let them do me like this? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And it's like, Miss, you really think Jay-Z is going to go against not only his wife, but the Beehive? Like, no, we're going to drag you and anybody else, honey. Nine days. Nine days. I'm getting my cowboy hat tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Okay. And, 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 Nine days. And let me know, know when you put up that, that, that plaque behind you so I can promote you, okay? Yes. Thank you, right. Dana. Thank you. Have so a good much. night. Okay, bye now. Yes, the Mississippi Goon Squad. Deputies sentenced to nearly 20 years for torturing two black men. You guys know about this story? Uh, this, this was pretty hard to, to read and to watch the, the news, okay? Mississippi, uh, these deputies who dubbed themselves the Goon Squad, um, one of them got sentenced to 20 years. The others are being sentenced. Um, I've got the names here, and uh, the group responsible abuse. 
Okay, the, the attack occurred after a racist call led to the deputies to assault Jenkins and Parker with stun guns and other objects, uh, subjecting them to racial slurs and a mock execution. Okay, the victims suffered uh, physical and emotional trauma. Um, this happened in, somewhere in Miss, Mississippi. I'm not sure exactly where. Pretty crazy, right? Pretty crazy. However, it made me think about the reality of racism. Racism is here to stay. I don't say that to try and you know uh, uh, be funny or anything, but racism is here to stay. I think that racism is being bred every day, every hour, if you will. And watching certain people, and let's just be very real, watching certain black people catch white people who let's just say who say the n-word right punch them smack them violate them it may make you feel good on a personal level but does it does it change anything does it help anything that's my question does it change anything does it help anything because clearly when you have people like this these and, and these ex-cops are total pieces of shit. Let me let me be clear. Total pieces of shit. So does the the small amount of getting some get back does that really help racism in the long run? Anyway, the judge um, did hand down these sentences, and I'm all for the conversation. If you want to chime in, okay. All right. Um, Sandra, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Sandra, I don't care to talk about yay, Kanye West. Um, I, I just his life is not important to me, but uh, you can chime in if you like. My phones are open. Area code 917. Late night, are you there? 917. Good star. Hey man, how are you? Good, good. I can't complain. I wanted to touch on that Mississippi case. Please. I don't know if you saw the details. You know, they really tortured those two dudes and actually shot one of them execution style, but he survived. Shot him in the mouth. And um, yeah, uh, maybe we'll make that the, the the top story because, you know, if people don't know about the uh, the, the little rascals, you know, um, that, then we can shift. The Mississippi Goon Squad, where do you want to chime in? No, I just want to say you made a good point with, uh, with saying do... We really get the advantage by, you know, putting hands and feet on people where it's just a temporary fix. Right. We don't really manufacture anything. We don't control anything in politics, like anything. Like, as you would say, there is no community. We just have a bunch of temporary solutions. But I'm hoping those dudes actually get paid. I don't know if they're trying to uh, pursue getting paid by the state or whoever, you know, owes them money. But I'm sure they will. when you look at the details at the I'm story, sure. I mean, it's horrible. Horrible. I'm surprised it's not headline news. It almost reminds me. It's like, I don't want to say it's bad as Emmett Till, but it's, it's very close to that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's just wild that it happened in modern times. When you hear stories like that, you would think it happened in the 40s and 50s. But I read, I think it happened like two years ago. Yeah, and, and uh, I don't want to to belittle or clown anybody who does, you know, um, f find some personal satisfaction in get back. Y you follow me? I'm not trying to clown them. <clears throat> but, you know, objectively speaking, is there another way that uh, certain people should be handled? Karens, uh, racist white people who, you know, call the cops on you if you're taking your kids to a goddamn um uh, a pool where you have the right to be there is, is there is there any I'm, any type of organization some type of website to not only expose those people but to then file a civil action suit go ahead it should be something set up that would make sense but we just we're not organized you might have a small group of people doing something over here small group of people doing something over there, but there's no real, you know, large scale collective outside. I guess you could say Crump, but like he's just after the money. He's not really trying to do anything long term. That's did, did you say Ben uh, Crump, Benjamin Crump? 
Yeah, because I, I hate to throw him out there, but you know, anytime there's an incident, you know, he's one of the first people they call, right or wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, what is he doing? And, you know, we just, we look up to the wrong people. We, we, you know, we got Fat Joe getting into politics. We don't have people that this is their life. This is their profession. We have athletes, entertainers, Instagram influencers. We refer to them where other races, cultures, ethnicities, right. they have, you know, a lawyer that he's been doing this all his life. His father was probably a lawyer. Right. They know the judge. They know the senator. They play golf. It's all one big party. We really just not invited. Right, 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 right. Um, hey, man, I appreciate you chiming in. Um, the story is sad, and I'm not sure what the outcome will be, but... Um... I saw one dude got 40 years. It's just... What they should be doing, since they're not really going to do too much, they should just be bringing awareness to the situation that more eyes and ears are on the story instead of just, you know, I'm actually glad you brought it up. Well, you know what? I've just changed my title to Mississippi deputy's sentence to nearly 20 years for torturing black men. I'll get back to the little rascals. Um, if that's what is more of a, a topic of discussion, then I thank you for chiming in. But before you go, before you go, before you go, um, did you see the, the throwback Beanie Siegel interview in my community section? I didn't see it. I didn't watch the video. I saw the clip. That's old. But Beanie Siegel, Ben, he, he, he pops too many perks. He, <laughs> well, know. sir, we don't know if Beanie pops perks. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. But, but you know, what he said, and, and I take him serious, man. I mean, and, and any any thoughts on that? Are, are you are you a... Penitentiary, nigga. You know, somebody knocking you out and then sucking your dick. You <laughs> Get the. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've heard of wild stories, but uh, somebody taking it that to that extreme, uh, the the few jails I've been in, the other inmates wouldn't allow that. Like they're not going to allow you to knock a dude out. Then like, nah. If there is any homosexual activity from personal experience, it's behind. It's dudes sneaking and doing it. Or okay. nobody's actually getting raped. This dude is allowing this to happen. He enjoys it. I thank you for the call, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you, Star. Right. Peace. Hey, peace, peace. <laughs> Where's the Beanie Siegel uh, showrunner? Beanie Siegel talks prison. I'm using the word reality, but, you know, I, I really want to say R.A.P. Guys, in my community section, can I get some real niggas to tap in? Yeah. Florida boy Jay is uh, traveling, so I have to. Um, I have to run the real nigga network tonight. Phone lines are open, and I've changed the the main topic of discussion here. The Mississippi deputies sentenced to twenty years for torturing black men. We'll um, change up the title a little bit later, okay? Um, Mr. Biggs, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, Stacy Glow, your wrench is working. Stacy, what? I don't know if I can do this tonight, but what what uh, is the website that you want on my showrunner? Stacy Glow, can you email that to me now? Because you've been going back and forth with Amy, and I'm I'm, I'm not in the loop. Okay, Stacy Glow should be in that live chat, promoting some type of uh bussy activity. But but Stacy spends money. Okay, thank you, Stacy. Uh. <laughs> Dana is still sending me emails. <laughs> Tony B got your donation. Major League Baseball gambling scandal. Free my nigga Pete Rose. Uh, sir, Pete Rose is old. He's out of here. Uh, there was a call that just dropped out. 347, what happened? I, I didn't hang up on you, 347. Um, okay, okay. And... Uh, Blade, Blade, Blade. Uh, whoa, whoa, Blade. What's going on here? Charleston White called the feds on Boosie. Can anybody confirm this? Can anybody confirm this? Tell me what happened, Blade. I'm not at the speed. I'm trying to uh, make sure my sponsors are taken care of tonight, guys. This is a late night show. Okay, language is a little bit loose. All right. www.hudsontubs.com bathtub restoration, shower reglazing. This is a great platform to go to if you are a homeowner or if you're a landlord, okay? Make sure you tell Maurice I sent you. Thank you, Blade. I'm not at the speed. 
Mm. Okay, I see a comment on the um, uh, Beanie Siegel throwback interview. Somebody says, super duper pause. Man, what in the fuck? <laughs> Every code 347. Late night, are you there? Three, four, seven. Starb, Starb, I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, you're a little far away, sir. Can you take off the fly nigga headset and come... Come closer so we can hear yes. you, sir. Please. All right. How, how about now? How about now? Yes, sir. How are you? How are you? Where do you want to start? Not bad. Not bad. Um, I want to talk about that Mississippi thing, and I want to talk about the Beanie Siegel thing. Please, please. You have the floor. So the times we're in right now, I mean, in all honesty, I believe it's the racism is even more blatant than it has been throughout history. Just you go online, there's nothing but racist trolls. Yeah. You know, it's just the rhetoric of, of what's going on now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I really wanted to call in because, you know, you're, you being a Jersey guy, mm -hmm. I work for a delivery service okay. and I deliver in uh, Wall Township in New Jersey. Oh, okay. So Wall Township has a very rich, deep history mm -hmm. of the KKK and, you know, the racist cops who are the descendants of the KKK. So I'm making a delivery today and there's a guy with a confederate flag hanging in his garage mm -hmm. you know in 2024 so i mean i'm not surprised that what's going on it's a shame and it's disgusting but you know this is the type of this is the world we're living in so as black people or you know ethnicities if if we can't figure it out amongst each other and try to come up with something you know we're doomed and that's just what it is well hang, hang on a second because uh people have have heard me say this over, over the decades um I had a, a Confederate flag hanging on the, um, the, the, the two-car garage in one of my homes out in the Poconos as a deterrent, respectfully, against people like yourself who are delivering. <laughs> You've heard me say that, okay. yeah? You've heard me say that? Correct, correct. Okay. And, and you know, just I want, you know, blacks, or I, when, I, when I own that particular property, I, w I wanted blacks and Hispanics to know, be careful when you come on the property. To, don't get any bright fucking ideas. So it doesn't mean that the homeowner, unless you had a, an experience with him personally, that he is KKK or whatever. Sometimes you do things because you're just, you know, you, you, you don't want... Uh, issues you don't want people coming around asking shit and then doubling back you know your, your friends your relatives whoever coming in the house with the fucking ratchets is that a bad thing I, uh I, I definitely get where you're coming from but in this instance i don't think that was more or less a deterrent i think that was a show of uh, pride in, okay of their culture okay. because i mean literally um i'm where i was delivering was five minutes away from uh you know, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but uh, Marconi Station, Evans area, yeah, yes. like Belmont, New Jersey. Sir, sir, I was born in that used to be. I was born and raised in the racist state of New Jersey. Yes, I know. <laughs> right. So that that used to be a strictly. I uh, used to be a lodge for our traveling clansmen. They would come and they would they would set up shop and and rest there and sleep there. So this is five minutes away. So I I mean I I hear you with the deterrent, but. I think this is just that grassroots, uh, you know, good old boy uh, culture. Okay, okay. Well, sir, um, yeah, New Jersey was the last state to abolish slavery. You do know that, yes? No, I actually didn't. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you know, it's funny. Well, hang, I'm, hang I'm, on, I'm, hang, I'm, hang on, hang on. Are you were you raised in Jersey or were you born and raised in New York and you you got a little scrilla and you no, moved, you moved out to Jersey? No, I'm I'm from New York, but um, I I work in Jersey. Uh huh. Yeah. But I, I I spend a lot of time in Jersey. My father lives in Jersey, so I spend time in Jersey as a, as a kid. So I, I'm sir, familiar with the, sir, you know. sir, sir, sir. Jersey people, including Star, uh, <laughs> have always been on some bullshit, uh, and, and Philly people too. Philly people <laughs> want New York niggas to know when you come down here, watch yourself. Oh, or you, you, know, you uh, yeah, will, I, I you will get that. Yeah, I'm sorry, good, good. I've, I've been there, done that. Every time I go to Philly, it's an issue. You know, from yeah. the from back in the days of like Chrome nightclub. I'm in my 30s. Oh, so. oh wow. Okay. Yeah, 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 right. But um, yeah. And, and speaking of Philly, I wanted to touch on the Beanie Siegel uh, please thing as well. Please. Um, there was an old Smack DVD from the early 2000s. Uh, 
my right. nigga. It's my nigga. Uh, State Property is on there. They're doing their freestyle. Well, PD Crack specifically. Oh, that's my now, nigga, PD Crack. Do, it's my guy, PD Crack. I don't know if you remember this, but but uh, Beanie was like whispering in his ear, and he was he was blowing kisses, and he was doing all types of flagrant behaviors. And you know, I'm I'm just not surprised that at you know that whole knock you out and X Y Z. You know, that's a lot of these guys give up sus energy. But now, hang on, hang on. Now, now, can we speak to what he said? I believe him. He says some legendary niggas that I knew while I was in the penitentiary with would knock you out, take you in your cell, and they'd suck your dick. I believe it. I know a lot of homo thugs. I believe it. Mm -hmm. Not on a level like that, but, yeah, they, they're they definitely around. Yeah. For sure. They'll they'll bust their gun and then go home and, and bend somebody over. That's mm -hmm. just... Yeah. That's you know, it's, it's crazy. And then busting niggas' cheeks in the penitentiary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. busting yeah. hammers and cheeks at the same time. They don't care. I thank you for the call, sir. Thank you. Thank you. No doubt. Take care, folks. Because of the vulgarity of this particular uh, topic, this will be a throwaway show. So you might as well call in and talk extra crazy. Uh, Houston, I see you, sir. Houston, can you can you take it easy with, with the rapid fire emails, please? Uh, okay. Stacy Galore says, uh, moregalore404.com. Stacy, can you send me a link? You, you, you typed it out. Hold on a second. Now I got to. Okay, here we go. Okay, and you, and you got the banner. I see you got the banner. Guys, give me a second to try and do all this. Phone lines are open right now. And Stacy Galore, why don't you call in, Stacy? Just, you know, just promote your, uh. Your business, please. Is there any real niggas who did time in the penitentiary? Can you call in and just talk about, you know, just, I'm not trying to clown nobody. Talk about what Beanie spoke about. Niggas getting knocked out and, uh, you know, <laughs> somebody thrusting and, uh, you know, violating you. I've never been to the quote unquote penitentiary. I just did little skid bids in the county jail, shit like that. Hold on a second. But uh, you know, the back back in the days before the term homo thug, they were called banji boys. Banji, B-A-N-J-E-E. -E. I used to speak about this on the radio, you know, for years. Okay, here we go. Uh more galore. 404.com. Now, Stacy, this is coming soon, yes? Give me a second, guys. Export. Okay, PNG. I have a late night discussion here. Area code 516. Good evening. Are you there? 516. You are the last. Okay, they hung up. Don't be scared. Uh, this is the perfect time for niggas to call in. Can, can I get a CO to call in? Just, you know, just what have you seen? <laughs> have you have you seen a nigga, uh, you know, getting violated and then and then he woke up and realized he couldn't do nothing about it? Nine one six. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Are you there? 916. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, right here. Yes, sir. Can you turn that down the background, please? I did. What's going on, Star? Nice. Big nigga. Hey, man. Uh, it's it's a Wednesday night. I'm, I'm a little silly tonight, man. How do you feel? It's cracking with you. I feel good. Now, I just called in about the topic. You know, a nigga did some time and shit. Okay. But um, out, out, as far as um, California politics, this is California politics. If you um knock a nigga out right. and then suck his dick, you considered a predator. So they gonna you going to the hole. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You going to the hole. But um as far as uh me uh witnessing this shit, um I remember I was in the um in the dorm, I was sleeping and shit, happened to wake up and go in, uh go to the bathroom and before I um uh, <clears throat> got up, I looked over to the side, I see like the bicep jumping up and down. It's like, you know, uh HMO is a uh, homosexual. Bison, I'm like jumping up and down. I'm like, what the fuck? He up over there 
uh, uh, riding a horse. The other bikes was like, damn, okay. all up in the motherfucking dorm? Fuck. Now, how long did you do? So did you do a, a stretch or a little three to six? What did you do? How much time? Uh, on that stretch, I think that was a uh, five. Okay. 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 So, so Beanie Siegel, who I, I don't know to be a liar, you know what I'm saying? He he kept it real. That's, that's an old No, nah, I'm not saying he a liar. But it's an old interview, but you're, now, you're you know. You're considered a predator. Okay. Well, may, maybe they move different in Philly. I've, I've never been in the Philly penitentiary. I've, I've, I've a, a whole lot of uh, friends who are retired cops and cops now, but I, I have no knowledge of what goes on in the Philly penitentiary, you know? Yeah, I, I hear you. I, that's why I said California politics. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be, you can't just be like associating with um, uh, homosexuals. You consider, you, you would be considered, you outlaw, you know what I'm saying? You consider like, oh man, niggas ain't fucking with you. You fucking, yeah, you gay. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't fucking with you. Even though that shit look cool, sound cool, motherfuckers calling in, all that Benny Siegel, that's cool. But out here in California, you consider you like gay. Our politics is different. You like gay, you go into the hole or go over there with the homosexuals. Okay. Well, California. That's all I got for you, well, big well, nigga. Say with, say with me. California is a big state. So are you, which penitentiary are you talking about? Because I was out there on my, um, on my California road trip and I went to, I went to a certain penitentiary uh, for some business, you know. Um, wh where are you talking about? I've been to Corcoran. I've been to the Bay. Um, I never hit Quentin. I hit Susanville. I hit High Desert. Okay. Been to Chino. Been to um, CRC. Um, I've been. I just. I just really. Um, Cause I'm. Um, I'm from Fresno, but um, I move out here to Sacramento. You know, what I'm saying I just moved out here to Sac. Okay. Got away and shit, but. Um. As far as it goes, that's just that's just how it goes. As far as our politics, so Benny Siegel, I mean, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. You you watching though? You like that's that's considered you know that's gay. Like you watching, you know that you watching like you watching nigga get knocked out and then he sucking his dick and you watching like you consider it gay. I mean, but you know that's beans so. <laughs> though. Okay, I, I appreciate the call, man. Salute. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, up, big nigga. Okay, all right. Folks, we're, we're off the rails tonight. There's no sense in trying to stop people from cursing. We're talking about Beanie Siegel, a throwback interview. Sheesh. I was at Folsom State Prison, for those who don't know, uh, last November when I was in that on, on the California road trip. Oh, you know what else I forgot to? Oh, man, hold on a second. Something else I wanted to talk about. Um, something what's going on with um decriminalization in Oregon are they reversing that mm. are they reversing the decriminalization law uh vote to oh okay, okay here it is here it is uh, March 1st, according to the Washington Post. Uh, let me put that in the um, showrunner as well. Oregon's declaration. Faces roll back. I have not read this particular story yet. Anybody want to chime in? What's going on in Oregon? That 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 is a real grimy place. I, I drove through Oregon. I didn't stay there uh, Again, on uh, my California road trip, uh, when I was when I drove from Seattle all the way down to San Diego, I parked and I went live. For those of you who um, who saw me, um, I parked at some mall, and there was a lot of fences around some buildings with graffiti. It's it's a real seedy area. But why did that fail? Let me print this out. They were so gung ho at first, weren't they? Yes, we're 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 giving out our free crack pipes. <laughs> we have the vending machines where you can go buy some needles, and and you can shoot some skag. <laughs> what happened, <laughs> Mister Biggs? I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. 
Okay. And Stacy says the work the wrench is working. Okay. Amber, I got your donation. Thank you, Amber. Yes, I will be in Myrtle Beach. Um, what is this? March, April, somewhere in um late April, okay. I'm I'm gonna I think I'm gonna be there for about a week. I'm just I'm just looking around. I'm not, you know. Saying what I'm doing just yet, but I saw some really nice prices on condos right on the goddamn beach. You know, you walk out of the goddamn sliding door and pow, it's right there. Um, Alex29, I got your donation. Alex says, uh, stay away from that plantation ass. States, you niggas love being toe tagged simply because y'all won't listen or pay attention to surroundings, okay? Thank you for your donation. Area code 678. Good evening. Late night. Late night. Are you there? 678. Uh, yes, I'm right here. Hey, I man. would just like to say I love the fact that these Mississippi officers have finally been charged. Come on. Love talk, it. Talk about it. Talk about now, it. Now, to be to be specific, two of them have been sentenced to 17 and a half years. One of them was sentenced to 20, and one was sentenced to 40. Okay. I love it. Now, I grew up hearing about the stories of, you know, you have officers that they put toilet plungers and guys on. And I, I don't want to say it, but, yeah, you yeah. know, they've been doing this. And it, lately, you know, it, it really it boils over. I was, you know, doing some research. There was something called Isaac's Storm. It's the mm -hmm. biggest hurricane that ever happened in the United States. Mm -hmm. Now, after this hurricane, got this white boy failed to alert everyone to literally they took young black men old black men and young black males well young children to be specific and they held them at gunpoint in bayonets and made them drag thousands of bodies into the water yeah. that was just something that happened in the year of 1900 i believe yeah this is just these are things that were allowed to happen back then things that were allowed to transpire Earlier, you see this. Uh, there's this movie called Platoon. Uh, they try to make this black guy yeah, seem Platoon with William Defoe. Oh. I saw it. Platoon. Exactly. And you have um. I don't want to list all the actors. Um. Come on. That's a long list. They're quite you know. But seriously, in that you know movie, they try to make the black guy seem weak, but in reality, seriously, yeah. they made them go march ahead of them in that jungle. So they had these 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 year old boys. And that's not the, you know, got the 20 something year olds out, but we're talking about teens, man. Yep. They made them march in front of them in that fucking jungle. Mm. You're, you're, I, I, the white boy is the weakest one to me. Like you look back at certain things, it's like, man, this guy is fucking, this guy's a pussy. And like, this guy has to go. And yeah, we could talk about, um, and I hate to alert them, but there's nothing they can do about it. Literally how the reproduction numbers have been fading and how mm. the only reason why those numbers seem like they're actually going according. White genetic survival, sir, is the term. White genetic survival. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, it. and how they've been failing at that mm -hmm. as a community, as a culture, as a society is literally they have been using biracial people to fill in their numbers right. they haven't asked anybody there's nothing wrong with that they haven't asked anybody that doesn't let you know that no one has power but you're still acting uppity and no one trusts these fucking white guys man mm. no. they're fucking weird they don't accept their history they don't accept what they've done they can't and you got to be careful with the uh the biracial males as well <laughs> turncoat sellout niggas <laughs> They, they will turn on you, but I got to be honest, so will an Asian, so will a Hispanic. <laughs> well, 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 sir, well, sir, so different. sir, 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 the messenger, the honorable Elijah Muhammad said, the worst, de the worst devil is a black devil. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, honestly, I don't know if I can agree with that one. <laughs> well, sir, 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 that's what the messenger said. You can believe what you I want. I will. Okay. Absolutely. He, yeah. he was the messenger. The devil is a black devil. Ahead, it has been updated, I assure you. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Well, I have you... seen the worst of my own people, okay. but I don't think we're, um, I don't think, and I, ah, this is going to sound horrible. I don't know if we have that drive to be that evil to the point where it would make a certain, a certain appearance in your education. Like they will raise their people to study these things. They're convinced they're going to create some type of medicine really is for a biological weapon. They're raised in completely different circumstances. Can, can I say this? Because, you know, people always say, well, you know, black people ain't ready. They don't have um, ammunition stockpiled. They don't have water supplies and yada, yada, yada. Um, a prophet once upon a time said that when, when, when the revolution happens, blackie will rise up and kill whitey. A prophet said that. Do you know who that prophet was, sir? Charles Manson. Bingo. You heard me say that before. <laughs> you know I have, sir. <laughs> and uh, I, I definitely... <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. He was a prophet. <laughs> in spite of what he... He was. And uh, <laughs> that... That goes deep. Yeah. In that, spite of what he organized, wonder you know, what he studied. In spite of what he organized mentally, he himself never killed nobody. Well, go ahead and finish up, sir. Go <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that, guy, that guy had a mind on him. He had a serious mind on him. And I hate to admit it because he seemed crazy. I don't know what they hit him with. Uh, I don't know. But he had a mind on him. Yeah. I appreciate the call, sir. Thank you so much. No problem, sir. Um, be blessed, even though I know you don't believe in it. Blessings to you, sir. Blessings. Blessings. Oh, oh. That was a good call, you see. He remembered. <laughs> I had been saying Charles Manson was a prophet for decades. Troll babies, you guys. Uh, I used to even say that on the radio back in the days. huh? And I used to quote uh, when Charles Manson said, when I say you do it, it gets done. If it don't get done, then I'll move on it. And that's the last thing in the world you want me to do. That's Manson. <laughs> Jeremy, I got your donation. A prophet also said, a mouth is a mouth when the lights turn off. <laughs> well, see a prophet to you, sir, Gene Richmond. Okay, thank you for your contribution. Frank White, thank you for tapping in. Retired hater, niggas are true, sus. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Lex Diamonds, thank you for tapping in. He says, yo, fam, you good? Supporting the machine. Thank you, Lex Diamonds, as always. Yeah, late night. I just, I, I wanted to talk about these uh, topics. The Mississippi deputies sentenced to nearly 20 years and the, uh, the little rascals in Houston. Wow. There's not a lot on that story, but it's trending everywhere. You know, and, and people are like, uh, oh, my God, <laughs> Whoa, they got away with it. A lot of interviews, but they're not showing uh, too much, you know, uh, uh, um, by way of the, the three minors. Guys, also on the screen, Oregon's decriminalization law faces rollback. Anybody want to chime in? Maybe we can, you know, just do a, a research edition here late night. Oregon's decriminalization law faces rollback. Well, what's going on? What happened? Are, are, are people, too many people are dying by way of drugs? How, how is that a bad thing? If, if that's what you choose, it, it's your body. Hey, I, I, I want to shoot a little skag between my toes. That's my body. It's, it's you know, and, and then they die. I mean, no one wants to, to, wish death upon anyone or make fun of people dying. But if, if that's how you, if that's the path you choose, it's your business. It's just like in certain states where you have uh, what some people would say, well, you know, they've got uh, this state allows pe more people to have guns and, and shootings are up. Well, is, is that a bad thing or is that a, a cleansing of sorts? A purge, if you will. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Uh, Lorna, I got your donation. Lorna says the prison topic is not funny, but funny. Am I wrong? 
I thought Beanie kept it real. <laughs> and listen, don't don't look at me as if, you know, just because I'm laughing, it's funny. I'm not a comedian. People don't come here to 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 be uh, uh to, to laugh. <laughs> I, I'm straight with no chaser. I'm the hard pill to swallow. But thank you, Lorna, for your donation. I would like to get some more people on the line tonight to talk about, uh, you know, niggas getting knocked out. Hold on a second. Uh... Oh, boy. Uh, and also, in case you're not to speed, I'm going to put this on the table one more time. On TMZ.com, there's pictures of Beyonce's, I guess this is her new uh, rollout, if you will. What is it, uh, Carter Cowboy or something like that? Skylar Saunders did a video on this. Skylar, are you out there? So maybe I should let me call Skylar Leighton. I see if he wants to chime in. Hold on, hold on. I got time tonight. Skylar Saunders. And 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 Azealia Banks is going hard in the paint, as always. She always goes in on um, um, uh, Beyonce. What is she claiming that Beyonce is stealing now? Yes, sir. Skylar, I'm live, man. Do you want to call in and promote your latest video? Sure. Um, send me an email so I can send you the link to Cam Up. Let's turn up tonight, man. Let's turn up. All right, let's do it. Okay. Florida Boy J, where are you, sir? Um, Janice. Janice. <laughs> She, she sends in a donation. She says, Star, you're a real piece of shit, but I'm laughing. <laughs> Calling Charles Manson a prophet. <laughs> Charles Manson predicted a race war. <laughs> he said that the black people will rise up and kill white people. Now, he also said that they won't be smart enough to know what to do after they kill the white people, and that's where he comes in. He will then come up from, uh, you know, the earth or wherever he was, you know, uh, taking cover, and he would lead the black people. <laughs> Anybody heard about this, or am I, am I too old? Somebody has heard about this, or you, you, you've seen this. Yes, no? <laughs> um. Hey, Shanice, I got your donation. Thank you, Shanice. Shanice, I need to talk to you. She says she's a realtor in South Carolina. She, I need to talk to you. Please email me. Thank you for your donation. Everybody yeah, go 973. Good evening, 973. Are you there? How you doing, brother? How's it going, bro? Uh, yeah, no. The, uh, yeah, it's the, that the criminalization is, uh, is crazy. I, I thought it was crazy for them to, you know, enact it at first, but now that it's like facing rollback, it's just, it's very interesting. You know, I mean, how do you feel about it yourself personally? Well, I'm not in Oregon. I mean, I drove through there on my road trip and it's, it's a, a certain areas are a complete hellhole. but, um, uh, what, 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 yeah. ha what happened? Do you know the, the, the details? I didn't really dig into the story yet. Um, why is this facing rollback? What is the, what is the thinking? Are, are too many people, uh, according to certain reports, getting hooked on drugs? The jails are filling up. What's going on? Um, well, they're saying uh, it, it was like it was. They're saying it was. Uh, it was. It was at first. It was Harold. You know, like it was. It was a good thing. But yeah, it's basically the surges in fentanyl use and overdoses. You know, is causing people. You know, causing them to roll back you know so basically what you said yeah like it just got too carried away obviously hmm. um a lot a lot of deaths and you know may have well i haven't pulled the numbers yet but now hang on a second hang on a second mm -hmm. coming and going at the same time you know uh might be a beautiful thing you're climaxing <laughs> right you're reaching a euphoria of sorts you, you beat me up to the mothership yeah and then and then you yeah. and then you check out. Isn't that your personal fucking choice? I do I I I it is. I do believe that. Um it's funny you, you put it like that. Um I was watching the I don't know if you caught the Candace Owens Joe Budden interview, but uh he was uh 
she basically inter, you know intellectually like you know raped him but, but besides that he um he he would ask like that like he he asked because she was going she was going in on people who are like overweight and you know the diff- various different communities and he was like well isn't it isn't it so and so's prerogative to you know mutilate their bodies you know as far as the trans issue and stuff like that and um I, do, do you take that same uh, um thought pattern approach like when when it comes to these things like it's people's personal freedoms to you know destroy their body or kill themselves yada yada yeah Yeah, yes it's your personal choice now hang on a second let's go back not that i have to defend joe budden because joe budden is the best in the game right now he more than i haven't seen the interview yet but you see joe joe and one of the another reason why he's so great right now he allows people to speak so that what you just said she intellectually raped him I disagree without even having watched it. He allows people to exactly. speak. She's a fast talker. She's a fast yeah. talker. But now if if you're not if you don't know history, then you'll think that she's just she's so sharp. Not that she's not that she's not good at what she does, you feel me? But yeah. if if you know yeah. if you know her come up, oh she caught a bag, she played the race card. You know that? Once upon a time uh yeah no i'm not aware yeah put me on yeah she played the race card uh some some white guy it was something to do with uh a governor's son or college or something she caught a bag she played the race card but, oh yeah but yeah, to yeah. listen to her now uh, oh yeah, yeah stop playing the race card you, you follow me and and then and then uh what what was the transgender's name is it blair white did you see blair white eat candace owens food did you see that uh, that was when they were sitting down together, Woo! right? Yeah. She took her head off. Now, hang on a second. Hang on a sec. I am going to watch that interview with uh, 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 Candace Owens, who I, I, I'm feeling her. You know, I'm, some of the things that she does, but um, um, uh, it's just, it's just that, it's just that when uh, I've noticed, like you know, the reason I, uh, I appreciate your work is that I just noticed that, and you can give me your take on it, that a lot of the Bl- the the black straight males in in these this certain the media space the so the Charlemagne the the Joe Buttons whoever you know what I'm saying it just seems like there's a agenda being played in terms of how they speak how they speak their their points um you know I I've never heard you know you know well listen sir I I hate to cut you short that's not what my Show is about tonight. I, I wanna, okay, I, yeah, I don't want to. I want to get back on track. Hang on, hang on. I want to get back on track. You and I were talking about mm-hmm. Oregon's decriminalization law. Um, I have not read the the reports. Uh, is it going to officially be rolled back, or is it in discussion? What what stage is it at right now? Um, let me see. It is in. It passed. The really? bill, bill, bill to end drug decriminalization. Yeah, passed. It okay. passes. Yep. Okay. So yeah, they're they're totally rolling that back. Mm. They're saying you know, no more no more full scale drug decriminalization. Too many people dying from fent on the streets. And yeah. And what is your drug of choice, sir? Respectfully, what is your drug of choice? Um, I like. I mean, if you call weed a drug, I guess then yeah. Uh, you know, some cannabis. I appreciate. It. I, I like weed. Mm. That's pretty much it. Um, every now and then. Do you mind if I speculate, sir? Do you mind if I speculate? Speculate away. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 33. Okay. You um, sound you sound like a speedballer. You sound like a speedballer. No, not at all. Not at all. I'm I'm, uh, I'm a music video director. I, I shoot music videos. So I don't give a shit what you do. Hang, yeah. hang on, hang on. I don't care what you do. What is okay. what is your ethnicity? African-American. Mm-hmm. You, hang, you hang around a lot of Euro trash? Caucasian trash? No, I'm from Montclair. Montclair, New Jersey. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. You you hang around Euro trash. You only date white girls. <laughs> yes. Or or or, no, no, or, or, or high yellow girls. Black... Huh? No, no. I've, I've been in a relationship with a black girl nine years. But, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I know the type you're talking about. <laughs> How did you even know what speedballing was? 
Uh, we we grew up using that Dare program. That mm. was that Dare. So they they would always say like, yeah, you know, these are the various drugs. Yeah. Speedballing is like when you mix all them together or some shit, right? I'll let you. When tell. you mix like various uh, drugs I, together, I, I'll let you <laughs> tell it. Go ahead and finish up. I appreciate the call. Go ahead and finish up. <laughs> no, from, the devil knows its own. <laughs> but but no, but yeah, no, I I appreciate your work. Yeah, I anytime you, you may need any media, I'd love to help, you know, any any way I can, you know. Okay, I okay. I, I got I got a little video music video production okay. thing going on out here. Well, uh, I shoot a shot. I, I just shot a video for Benny the Butcher. It's okay. going crazy right now. Like Salute to Benny. 600, Salute. Now listen, you yeah. <laughs> send me an email and, and don't ever call me a brother again. Fucking offense. I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking offends me. You got yeah. me? You got me? Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you for your call. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I caught that brother shit early. You know, just speedballing. Huh? Woo! Psst. I've had a couple of girlfriends who were speedballers. <laughs> Jittery and you know, just uh, emotional, moody, throwing shit around the goddamn apartment, pow, breaking shit. <laughs> oh, there he is, Skylar Saunders. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Salute. Good evening. You, you you froze there for a second, right? Was was cracking? No, I'm all right. I was, I was just waiting on you. Okay. Can you come a little closer to the camera, Skylar yes, Saunders? There you yes. go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, are you on a Wi-Fi? Your connection is a little jittery. Yeah, I'm on Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 freezing on us. I mean, we can hear you, but uh, your image is still. Do you wanna do you wanna hook up the cable and then get a better reception? All right, let me do a mic check. One, two, one, two. Did right, it, folks, you give him a second. Give him a second. It's still jittery. Mic check. One, two, one, two. It's a little jittery, yeah. But, but listen, I mean, as long as we can see you, man, and and with okay. all due respect, you know, um, 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 Oregon's decriminalization law faces rollback. You want to touch on that first? No, I have no no clue on that. Nothing on that. Okay. Your latest video is in my community section. Uh, Azealia Banks clapping at Jay Z. Um, 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 Beyonce. What's going on? She's. <laughs> This is my pass from the internet. The internet's the QB. I'm the wide receiver. I took this into the end zone. She had the best lines. Because she's like, I always say this, she's an unconscious objective hater. Because she, she wouldn't, she probably wouldn't describe herself as an objective hater. But she did so. She named about the, the title of Beyonce's uh, album. She said, you didn't put any artistic thought into that? You didn't say anything like that? She said Jay Z made Beyonce boring. She mm. said that uh, Beyonce, you know, was caping for the the uh, Dixie Chicks now called the Chicks at, at the CMAs, the Country Music Awards, and she's saying that they wouldn't have done that for her. So why are you doing that for her? And then she says she Beyonce tap dances when the white man comes out, but mm. won't do anything for the black, or or she'll go back on you know how she was the the uh, black parade and the. And the uh, the HBCUs and the homecoming and all that stuff, and now she wants to be lighter skinned. She she went in. Azealia okay. Banks. I have to jump in, in, Skylar Saunders, and it's say a, I totally disagree with you. Um, Azealia okay. Banks is a player hater. She's not objective. She's a no. Player. I said she would not. I, hang she would on, not hang, call hang herself. On, hang on, sir. I, I mm. let you speak. I let you speak. Mm -hmm. you no, know, Azealia Banks constantly kicks in Beyonce's back every time she drops a single. A video. Anytime she does anything, she's on her neck. It's personal. It's personal. So you you focused on her um uh, her you know her, her recent attack on Beyonce. Does Beyonce ever respond, or did she just block her and say that bitch is nuts? I think the latter. I think she she doesn't really pay her much attention. Mm -hmm. I mean, she she's she's relevant, uh, Azalea Banks, but I don't know if she's too much of a factor. She's she's very relevant though. She can right. grab headlines and stuff like yeah. that. But Beyonce, I think, just discards her. Yeah, yeah. She, she's a player. I miss. I, I I fuck with her. I mean, I like I like her earlier music. I mean, I, I used to speak about it. But um, 
uh, when Beyonce dropped the 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 dance track, you know, oh my God, you won't break my soul. Azealia Banks went apeshit because she has always been very entrenched in that community. She she jumped through the goddamn uh, through the walls. Did you know that? Yes, I I, I remember. What was that? Twenty uh twenty one, twenty two, something like that. But um, yeah, okay. I do remember. I do recall that. And uh, she, I I guess we're gonna have to agree to disagree. I think she doesn't like objective hate. She she doesn't. She's not conscious of it. But she's to motivate. She likes Beyonce. She wants to see a, a Beyonce and a Rih Rihanna uh collaboration. I think she can't stand Beyonce, but uh, okay. No, 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 sir. She likes she, she likes Beyonce. She's she's one of, well, just well, the same with Jay Z. You have your opinion? Do you know that um, Azealia Banks practices brujeria? I did not know that. No, I didn't see that in my research. Google Azealia Banks closet, and you will see that she was cleaning out her closet one day because of all the the, the chicken heads that she had cut off and and the candle wax. Yeah, she's really with that. I did hear about the chicken heads, the the, uh, the chicken actual chicken heads, not chicken head hose or anything. Um, she, the, she, she was cutting sliced the heads off the heads, off the, cutting the heads yeah. off the chicken in the closet. She right, yeah, I, I didn't know that that was because of Bruja, but, but um, yeah. that that practice yeah, either um, Bruja or Santeria. She she's with that. She she came up she's in that. With go ahead. Right. But yeah, I, I when, in my research I did see uh, one of the uh, YouTube uh, YouTubers speak about her cutting off chicken. I didn't really know what she was talking about. I was like, oh okay, now that makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Well, look, man, great to see you. Um, did you comment under your latest video in the community section? I'm not. I have to do that. You need to do that, man. You need to do that yes, so that sir. people, you know, they they can see that you're, you know, actively, you know, engaging with them. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Good to see you, Skylar. Absolutely. Take care. Salute. Yes, sir. Salute. Okay. Skylar Saunders tapping in. Good man, right there. Late night, guys. Late night. Hold on a second. Um. Anybody else want to comment on the Beanie Siegel throwback interview? It's in my community section. Let me go there and see how many comments are there. <laughs> oh man <laughs> I just felt that that would be a little fun for us to uh to talk about huh hold on hold on hold on um uh... mm, okay not a lot of comments hey, Beanie Siegel's a good guy man came on the Star and Buckwild show I think it was 2010 or 11 in Philly. He and the homie Mike Knox. And he spoke about um, supposedly Dame Dash beating him out of some money. And I just said, you really want to go there? <laughs> he said, yes, darling. So, okay. Uh, mm. Okay, okay. Not a lot of comments. People are not really... Um, into Beanie Siegel and his comments. Okay. Um, let me go to PayPal. Guys, the PayPal link is at the top of the live chat. It should be. Let me just double check. Let me double check. And Stacy Galore, what's going on with more galore404.com? When, when are you posting content? That's very, very important to know. Can you tell us, Stacy Galore? When's the next one's? You know, when are you going to post content there? Okay. And I just want to double check something, you guys. Hold on a second. I want to make sure at the top of the live chat. Okay, yes, I do see it. Super chat with star, yada, yada, yada. Okay, okay. Um. Okay, Stacy, I see you in the live chat. Stacy, just remember, do not block anybody. Don't put anybody in timeout. And don't promote any other channels other than your own, okay? Okay. Um, everybody, hold on, hold on. I just want to go back here for a second to the Mississippi deputies. Wow. Talk about just, just violating someone's rights just because you have a badge and a gun. 
I did not see the uh, the court proceedings. If anybody would, would like to call in to talk about, um, you know, the families, I'm sure, asking for mercy. Uh, the judge emphasized during the um <clears throat> during the, the the trial, pardon me, uh, the culpability of the defendants and the culture of violence within the law enforcement group known as the Goon Squad. Okay, the incident <clears throat> underscores the uh, prevalence of racial bias and police brutality in that area, promoting calls for accountability and reform within the law enforcement community. You know, I just I, I'm so sick of hearing that. Calls for reform. <sighs> you know, that makes me think about the reality that. Um, let me Google this to be precise because we've got time. California allowing migrants to become police. Do you guys know about this? I spoke about this before. Wow, okay, okay. What is the DACA program? Um, January the 24th, 2024. Here's the article, okay. California made it legal for DACA immigrants to work as police. Which departments are using... New law, okay, uh, the, the Democrat from Oakland who sponsored the law called the citizenship rule, Gee, oh, Jesus Christ, improve the current relationship between law enforcement and communities. Guys, do you know about this? Let me put this in the live chat, please. So whereas black people... <clears throat> are still calling for reform, right? You got these piece of shit cops doing what they did in um, um, Mississippi. In California, they're, they're, they're letting migrants become police. Give me a second. Put it in for more. Yeah, man. Wow. Wow, anybody want to call in about that before we, you know, take this into a different direction? What the hell? Houston, is that you again, 713? Area code 713. Man, dog, I've been telling, man, I've been telling people about this. It was happening before COVID. And then now that Biden got in, he opened up the border. Mm -hmm. And then people are now getting the essence of what's going on because Biden opened it up. Black Lives Matter was the black face on this. Remember, where is Black Lives Matter now? Right, right. Well, they took the money and ran. But they, they took the money and ran. Go ahead. Yeah, they took the money and ran. So there were two dyke, my bad. There were two dyke women, black face. Don't don't worry about the language tonight, Houston. Come on, don't worry about the language. Fuck it. Okay, go. okay. Can I talk? Fuck it. Let's go, nigga. My talk. Let's go, nigga. Let's talk. Hey, nigga. They put two dyke bitches, two flat back ass, flat back and dyke bitches. Got them in front of Black Lives Matter, and these dumb black ass people to sit up. Black Lives Matter, got them in man, fuck that. How the fuck are you following two dyke fat black yeah. bitches funded by a white mm. man that got a white agenda to take right. you down, nigga? Right, right. A two seafood platter eating bitches. Let's go, Houston. Let's go, nigga. Hey, but that's why I don't fuck with niggas. Oh, okay. Those are niggas. It's a difference between niggas and black people. Niggas doing that Black Lives Matter and, right, right. and getting in a group and shit. 
Black people don't do that. Those are niggas and niggas. Niggas and niggas come on all colors and creeds, no matter what face you got on you. It's a mentality that's been beat in you from slavery. But you know what? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying, dog? These people don't understand what's going on in front of their goddamn face. Oh fuck! I don't give a fuck if you from Guatemala. Oh fuck! You know your people ain't shit. You know good. Let this man talk, folks. Just let him talk. Let him get it all out. Come on, Houston. Come on. You know good goddamn well. I don't give a fuck. You got a visa over here from 30 years ago. You sweating and wiping your forehead right now. And your kin folks from another country doing this shit. And they trying to pull up any picture with a motherfucker. That's from the U.S. right now, nigga. I know what's going on, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? They're like, I'm from the U.S. They not fucking with them people right now. You know what I'm talking about? Them motherfuckers called me talking about, God damn it. They, they want a picture with me hanging with them. I'm like, no. Hey, Houston, before you go any further, I want to say something to you, man. I, and I want you to always remember this. You listening? Yeah. I'm laughing with you, never at you, man. I'm laughing with you. Not Dog, a- I already know that. Okay. I already know that okay. you're laughing with me, not at not me. At and then I understand how I speak. Yeah. People yeah. be thinking I'm lit and fucked up. Yeah. But I actually speak true. Facts. When I'm talking shit. It's a fact. Yeah. And then when they. You, you just express yourself different. And that's why I like to let you talk. And I want people to hear. That, that I allow you to talk this talk. You, listen, you, you're a day one with me, going back to the Star Chamber. Because man, no, you, no, man, you an alien. All that shit, dog. People don't understand. I could really be real vicious, but I'm just mild right now. Right. This is like 2% milk on motherfuckers. You feel me? I know, I know. I'm like, hey, dog, but, I, but at, at closing, I want people to understand what they're looking at. And if you don't have enough minerals in your mind frame to understand what you're looking at, I cannot help you. Get it? I got you. you. If that makes sense. It makes a whole lot of sense. The Europeans say minerals. I'm like, I know all that. I know every language. Like when people are sitting up saying SIG, I don't say the F word, I just say SIG. So, you know, I mean, I, man, come on. Houston, on that note, I'm going to let you slide off. Good to talk to you. And as always, man, salute to Pimp C, as always, man. Man, you know that Pimp C story coming back up, dog. I know, I know. (laughs) It's going to be real crazy. I got to go, Houston. Surprised it. I got to go. All right, bet. Thank you, man. Okay. Star Report back in the building. Wednesday evening, and we've been having a pretty good discussion here with regards to uh, the Mississippi deputies sentenced to 20 years, another one 17 years, and so on and so forth. This was a horrific crime that occurred. Uh, Two black men sodomized, uh, beaten, tortured, their rights violated, and I'm sure there will be uh, lawsuits. Here's what I do want to say, though. Um, just on a personal note from experience, don't be so quick to forgive people. The media has always asked the question, if you ask me, when, when they, you know, when they try to catch black people at that point, you know, that vulnerable point, they always ask, uh, do, do you forgive the, the person? But do you notice that they never ask the small hats? They never ask the small hats, do you forgive anybody? Anybody know what I'm talking about in the live chat? Anybody want to call in? I have been doing this media thing a lot of years. They never ask the small hats, do you forgive Anybody because no, they don't forgive. (laughs) No, they don't forgive. They are gonna sue this shit out of everybody. And that that it's 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 well known. 
But don't be so quick to forgive. Don't be so quick to answer questions about how do you feel. What you should say is, you know, um, now is just not a good time for me to talk. It's just not a good time. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. Hold on a second. The same way, and, I, and I'm going to say this again, even though I'm, I'm a cop supporter now, a lot of uh, cops in my family and so on and so forth. Don't be so quick to talk uh, in that goddamn interrogation room. The cops can't help you. They're just public servants. That's when you need to shut the fuck up and just say, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused right now, but thank you. I'd, I'd like to talk to, uh, the, to the judge or my lawyer. Area code 678, good evening. Late night, are you there? 678. Uh, yes, I'm right here. I wanted to call back in. Um, You had just mentioned the small heads don't have to apologize. They, they will not. The re- they will not. They will not. <laughs> they will not. But also. Well, well more, more so. Hang, hang on a second. More so, they don't forgive they won't say that on camera because you see, True. legal True. legally they don't want to you know put themselves selves in a position exactly. where they have to go into a deposition. Well, you you did say exactly, you and then say they can be that you forgive some sort of bias or prejudice. Right, right, right. Right. There's a lot of things Bingo. that legally become attached to that. Bingo. Yeah. Now the reason why they don't have to, and I hate to divert oh. this back to my own people, but it is what it is. I'm black. Juneteenth, they had white people on the posters. I doubt that you're going to go to a Jewish or Israeli event and see all types of Arabs on their posters. When, when their people get into certain positions to the point where they can change something, they choose not to. Well, th- their people choose things. Our people choose to get into certain positions and then remain complacent and ultimately choose to take the path that is ultimately less resistant. And not, I can't necessarily fault them, but in certain situations you can see, well, Hey man, you come from a bloodline that already got that paper. You already have an education. You already have a certain standing within society, especially if you listen to black people, if you get your you know college degree, it means everything. So one would have to question <laughs> It's not like you have nothing to fall back on. Why do you feel the need to constantly involve them? And you know, small hats really don't feel that. Need well, ha- hang on a second, sir. If involved. I if I can just say this so that we can get back to the topic at hand, the small hats, yeah, okay. the small hats, according to their law and and the Talmud, the Talmud. Oh. Okay, your your life, Absolutely. your life, you the goyim. Your your life is not worth <laughs> absolutely. Your life is not worth saving, nor are you worth apologizing to and or forgiving. So let's just let's just understand that and oh, let's let's get back oh, to the to the Mrs. If ahead. I if I may comment on that, they are also allowed to circumvent you. They are also allowed to move the ladder if you're trying to climb up. Well, sir, you're going someplace else right now, and this is a Jewish network. No, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm no, 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 Literally. Sir, we're done with that okay, conversation. Okay, my apologies. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's go to the Benny Siegel thing. Um, it, it really doesn't surprise me. Um, I, I'm, I'm very well aware of certain, let's just be honest, homo thugs. Uh, they seem very cool. Until, you know, quite frankly, you start hearing things, but it's like things from guys that wouldn't have the balls to say it. It's like, eh, this must be serious. You saying it like, you're like, nah, so I'm like, uh, so it really doesn't surprise me. That one surprised me years ago. And I, I got to be honest, I, I, I'm not the type of guy to say anything to those guys face because sometimes they be about it. Oh, yeah. And oh, it's yeah. like, yeah. Uh, but that one that one's a weird situation to deal with because those same guys will put up a fuss if you make a certain joke. It's like, hey, wait a minute, bro, you supposed to be the you know, you supposed to be the main one laughing talking you shit, right? Like, like, nah, it ain't funny. Like, all right, all right, cool. Like, that's all I need to know for real. Like that's it. Okay. Right. Sir, it sounds like you're grooving. I'm not sure where you're going, but I, I appreciate the call back. Thank you. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> All right, star. Thank Have you, an sir. excellent night, man. Thank you. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> sound like he just sound like he hit the sherm stick, you know, <laughs> during the break. <laughs> Anybody want to tap in? I feel like talking. Oregon's decriminalization law faces rollback. Damn. So people were enjoying themselves off of the fentanyl or what have you. Uh, Flocka. Crack rock. Heroin. Reaching their euphoria. Dying and and people are are bothered by the fact that they're dying. Maybe they wanted them to to continue being hooked, junkies, if you will. Sheesh, uh, Julian, I got your donation. Thank you for your support, uh, sir. Uh, listen, hang on a second, Julian. Uh, this is the Star Report. My motto has always been going back to the Star and Buck Wild Show. Always forward, never backwards. It's the journey of Troy Terrain. Okay? This is not about what happened to so-and-so. Where they, I, I, Google, sir. I don't know. Uh, Brooklyn Kennedy, good guy. He was never a, a co-host. I don't know. Thank you for your donation. I don't keep tabs on people like that. I get the best numbers when I'm by myself. I don't need uh, uh, sidekicks, uh, people to play off of. Uh, you know. I don't know. Salute to Brooklyn Kennedy. I'm, I, I'm not sure what happened to him, but thank you for your donation. Um, hold on, who is this? Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Okay, sir, I, I don't have time to listen to music unless you're, you're spending money. Hang on a second, guys. Please don't start emailing me. Yo, can you check out my tracks? And then, no, I can't. I, I can't. Hold on. Let me send this person um, some info where they can spend some money. I do not have time to sit around and listen to goddamn rap music. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no, nah, you know, it's hot, but you should do this with the beat and you should get so-and-so on the track. That's not what I do, sir. Here you go. You spend it some scroll. Let's get it cracking. Okay. Um, Valdez, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Okay, via uh, PayPal. Um Okay, Valdez, I no, no, no. Let, let, let's get a, a clear understanding here, sir. I'm not telling you you should do anything in Myrtle Beach. I was just talking out loud. I I love the water, sir. I, I, I'm at that stage where I just want to live on the water, you know? I, this has been a, a, a thing with me since the 70s when I spent summers on Martha's Vineyard, okay? I love... The water, the ocean. So uh, I don't know anything about buying property in Myrtle Beach. I was looking at some condos. It doesn't mean you should buy condos, sir. <laughs> They've got some cheap condos, from what I saw, and and the reason why I'm even interested is because they are they are deading all that uh, Myrtle Beach bike week stuff. They're, 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 Cracking down on that, and you're not going to have women walking around in goddamn uh, thongs. They have a law now. I think the law is like two or three years old. It's a fine. So, no, sir, I, I can't help you. I, I, I'm, I'm not. Well, guys, what is that? Uh, DJ MB does all the uh, some type of course. <laughs> I, I no, sir, I don't do that. I don't do anything like that. I cannot help you. You can go on uh, some of these other Zillow. Uh, and these other platforms, and look for yourself. But thank you for your donation, right? <laughs> uh, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. Whew. I know nothing about um, you know real estate courses. I mean, and and this is not to 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 shit on anybody who who does that, but. To, to, to my understanding, people do real estate courses to teach you how to run a real estate course. Yes, no, troll babies. Is, isn't that isn't that the rub? <laughs> That's the rub. Well, I'm going to teach you how to uh, to sell your own course. <laughs> well, what did you learn at, at the um, uh, um, uh, at the course? Well, to how to run my own course to sell other people a course. <laughs>
Thank you.